excuse me, do I have a Martha Pearl here for her dental cleaning? Oh, there you are, Martha. Come get your teeth cleaned. Hey, I'm here with Martha today and we are trying out a new tooth cleaning product for dogs. Martha just had her first teeth cleaning a couple weeks ago and surprisingly, they don't send you home with a toothbrush and toothpaste for your dog like the humans do. Therefore, I had to go shopping around for toothpaste and I thought, what do I want to use on her that maybe she'll like, but also might not be bad for her. I came across this, it's an organic tooth gel. It's called Radius, it's by Pets2. And it is actually a cinnamon sweet potato flavor for dogs. I'm not sure that her breath is gonna smell that great, but I hope that she won't just hate the process. It came with this little kit. It has a little toothbrush, a little tooth gel, and it's, it's travel in case you want to, well, actually it's just for good storage. I'm not gonna probably travel and take her tooth stuff with us. But if you wanted to, you definitely could. I've only used this one time. I'm gonna show you kind of how I was able to do it. And it recommends doing it like two to three times a week not in an everyday morning and night sort of thing. So we're just gonna take the little, actually I'm gonna to pretend to be a dental hygienist, which I'm not. We will put her little cloth around her neck. And I'm sure she's loving this. She was pretty, she was a little bit freaked out the first time. When you take the dog to the, to the vet to have their teeth clean, they put them under anesthesia she doesn't remember having her teeth cleaned but she remembers last week probably let's see so we will start out with i will play the part with my handy dandy dental hygienist gear all right marty we're gonna do your teeth let's see so it's a small tube and i believe you can get this amazon chewy there's lots of different places i bought mine from grove products which is a home-based delivery that has a lot of natural products like soaps and really anything for your house that's more natural and non-toxic. And I found it on there and I thought, oh, I'm gonna try that. And then I found it later, you can find it pretty much everywhere, health food stores, online. And it comes out, it's, it's brown and kind of a little bit, um, it's not too thick, let's just say that. It's not runny, but it's not too thick. It's just a little bit, not quite the same as human, imagine that. I just opened her mouth and I'm gonna scoot the camera I did the best I could with what she's got to offer. Now her teeth aren't that bad, but you probably can't see them, but they have a little bit of stains and I just kind of put it on there and brush it around. I have to, it's a little bit harder to get to her back teeth. You just have to lift up her lips. Martha's very tolerant of really absolutely anything and that is helpful. If you had a, a puppy or a dog, I'm not sure how you would wrangle them to brush their teeth, especially very frequently. How's that taste, Martha? Is it good? All right, let's get the other side. It does not foam up, I, which is probably a good thing, honestly. But I'm just doing brushing in circles just like I did my teeth, my children's teeth, and you can kind of see, just kind of brushing them. It's a little bit harder to get to the back she has a way of putting her lips up over her teeth pretty well. So trying to get to the back ones. I'm sorry, Martha, i sorry. Let me see, you like it? Yeah. Her front ones are the ones that kind of get a little stained, I've noticed. But the dentist said her teeth didn't look too bad. Oh yeah, it's coming off. Yeah, do get so clean. You want some water, you want some water? Let her have it. Oh, no, I don't have suction, so <laughs> it's not quite like the regular dentist. You want some water? Want the drink? No, she doesn't want water. I'm gonna just put the toothbrush in water. Let me see your front teeth again. Let me see if I can get them. Oh yeah, oh, it's really difficult to get her back ones. I, she's not gonna bite me, so I don't have to worry about that. She's so docile. I don't know, it's just a matter of getting my, getting her tongue out of the way and getting the brush in there. I'm gonna rinse the brush a little bit more. Hey, Marty. You could tell it's not her favorite thing, but she's also 
not used to it. She's not used to it at all. I'm curious if I follow through on doing this a couple times a week, if she'll get more used to it or if she'll run and hide. Martha might run and hide. I don't know. Is that good, Martha? I don't know that your breath is going to be fresh. I don't know. Anyhow, I would say that this is a pretty simple product to use. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. And I think actually keeping her teeth closed is easier. Feels okay. All right, Martha. Let's see. Let's see you. Let's see you. How does that feel? Is that good? Is it good? I don't know if you could see. Her teeth, she's got nice white teeth anyhow. She's four years old, and this was her first dental cleaning that we went to at the dentist. Therefore, I don't know what age you're supposed to take them, but that's what was recommended to us when we went in. They said, you should really take her before her teeth get bad, and they were pretty good already. We didn't have to have any pulled. That's the thing they will charge you for the procedure with anesthesia, everything, the lab work included, and then, if they need teeth pulled, it's an extra cost. But luckily, we didn't have to have any teeth extracted. It was a very simple cleaning. She came out of anesthesia fine the next day, and she's been doing great since. And I will keep you guys posted. We'll come do another video here in a few weeks and see if she's gotten any more used to the toothbrushing. She is pretty happy all the time. Alrighty, bye.